Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to explore about Swing. Swings are mainly useful for creating desktop application. In this tutorial, we are going to see about Swing container, components and event handling. This container is base element for any app. Uh, so this is the container, outer layer is the container. So components like buttons, text fields are added to the uh, container and when you click or when you perform any operation on the components, the event will occur and handling that event is called event handling. Now we will see the demo programs. This is the program I have created for the demo. So the container demo is a class and um, inside the create app method, I have written the code and uh, in the uh, main method, I am creating the object for the class and I am calling the create app method. So now we will see how to create a container and how to add the comp components into the container and we will perform some uh, uh, events and uh, we will see how to handle that events. For creating container, uh, here I have used JFrame. So the object has been created for the JFrame class and with that object JFrame uh, I am adding the title here base frame dot set title. Title is the base container and I am setting size here. Size is like width and uh, height and I have created a content pan. This is J panel. This is uh, and I have created a J panel. This J panel like a particular area in the uh, base container. This is like HTML div. So in the J panel, you can add the components or inside the base frame, you can add the components. So I have created a J panel and now I have created the components uh, J button and the J text area. Here I have created two components. One is uh, J button. This using J button class, I have created a demo button. And for adding title, this is click. For, I have click added as a uh, button title. And I am setting the boundary. And uh, here using the J text area class, we are creating the uh, text area. And for that also, we are uh, setting the uh, boundaries. And uh, into the content panel, content pan, I mean J panel, I am adding the button and text area. Container is the uh, root element, uh, J frame, and you have to add all the components into the container. So here I am adding all the components like uh, mm, I am adding the J panel into the container and also uh, the buttons and the text area has been added to the panel. Next, this is to if we click on exit close button, it has to exit the, the uh, app should exit for that. Uh, I'm adding this method and you have one more method. This is set visible method. This, this has to be set as a true. Uh, otherwise, it won't be visible. The screen won't be visible. So in this app, I have uh, I have created a component button and when the button is clicked, the text area should get populated with a text like button clicked. So for that, I have to handle this uh, event. So I have added the listener class and in the listener class, uh, you have to pause the event and in the result is the text area object. So for that object, I'm setting the uh, text as button clicked. So let me execute the program and we will check the output. See the app has been created. Uh, the, this is the base container, and inside we have add we have added the panel, and inside the panel we have added the button. If I click the button, see the button click to text has been populated. So, so we have explored about the swing. We have seen about how we have how to create a swing container and what is uh, swing components, and we have seen about uh, how to handle the events and how we have seen program to how to add components into the container and we have created the uh, small demo app.
Thank you for watching the tutorial. Have a great day.